it going geeks? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time we made it to the high limit floor and found that in order to get to the manager's floor we need to earn 100,000 coins which is double the amount we needed to get on the members floor. Luckily we have two games that are gonna help us with that. The House of Darkness which we're about to enter right now and the Battle Arena which we will enter later. Uh, the reason why we can't enter the battle arena now is because in order to enter the battle arena, you need 10,000 coins. And luckily, 10,000 coins is the reward for beating the House of Darkness. What's the catch? This is the catch. God damn, it's so freaking dark. This is definitely not a little. We've been tricked. I'm sensing shadows too. Very simple, my ass. If we do not ascertain the layout and the placement of the enemies, we will surely find ourselves in danger. I just hope there is an adequate way of doing so. The House of Darkness is adequately named Shrouded in Darkness. And the only way that we can see Somewhere. is by utilizing our third eye. Which, might I say, is very freaking clever. Having us use our third eye to navigate a darkness-filled maze is simply genius. The map is not of help to us either, which means we have to rely on our instincts alone. Unfortunately, because this is Sai Nijima's palace, this can't at all be as easy as advertised. Take a look at this. A completely locked Door. This has to be a joke. No way. It's not opening. Impossible. We took the only path available to the straight point. So, the participants are trapped in here and fall victim to the shadows. It seems they have no intention of letting us proceed any further. <laughs> Damn it. This is cheating. Actually, it's even worse than cheating. Regardless, let's search for a way past here. We can't get the coins if we don't reach the goal. Yep. This entire thing is nothing more than one huge time waster. The entire reason why they allow you to leave and don't refund you your coins is because this is where the maze is supposed to end. Fortunately for us... Hey, look! Yo, look! There's a breeze coming in through here. Think it goes somewhere else? Hmm, how convenient. If they're not going to let us move forward, we can force our way through here. <laughs> An unsurprising idea for Sai-san's sister. I will go along with whatever plan we choose. The decision is yours, Joker. Uh, yes, the decision is mine, and it's the only decision we can make. There is no other way through other than this. And of course, being on the other side ain't too good either. There's a vent right here, but I have no idea where the hell it goes. You know, oh my god, I do still need to do that. I have no idea where the hell this thing goes. Except towards a treasure chest, hell yeah, baby! A Ouija board? Okay, then. Did I just call that a Ouija board? I can't believe I called that thing a Ouija board. I... I did that completely out of nowhere. I'm also in an area I've never seen before. Where the hell am I? Oh! Oh, we're back here! Wait a minute, what? We're back to the area we came in in. Okay, that's cool. Look at this! This is exactly where that door was. Nothing! The reason why the door is barred is because there is no doorway. How freaking mean is that? It, it's meaner than mean. It's literally showing you that uh, there's no way to win. The entire gimmick of this palace has been cheating. It's been nothing but cheating. And I frankly do not like that I'm I said this earlier in the palace I'm fine with cheating when it comes to video games but not cheat 
bots. Like, like aim hack for a shooting game. I don't like that. But if it's like a, a cheat code for a Lego game that simply just gives you some characters, I'm completely fine with that. I'm guilty of doing that. But when it's something like this, cheating just takes away the fun of everything. I mean, the people in that first room are nothing but rats in a damn Skinner box. It's completely unfair. I just, I don't like it. I do not like it one little bit. Anyway, we're here. We're at the mother of... Okay, we were at the end. We just need to take care of a few loose ends. That being climbing up here and entering this vent. Because, looky, there's actual freaking light here. Well, there was. Oh, and there's a shadow. Hiding carefully, trying not to get caught. Booyah, baby! Oh, we made it through! Is that it, though? Feels like there's more up ahead. That it does, Lady On. That it does. And it feels gross to call her Lady On. Ew. Okay, I'm never doing that again. Hell no. We have the Gambler shirt, which doesn't do anything. It only gives you like five luck, which to me is useless. I have no idea what luck even does. But, uh, we can unlock this door, which, you know, is the door that we were stuck at, so, you know, that's all good. <sighs> but we're not done yet. I mean, we are done, as in, we're done with the House of Darkness, but we haven't received our prize just yet. Yes, there is a locked treasure chest. And on the opposite side of this room, there's a safe room. You ever wonder why that is? <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, that's because there's a freaking enemy we have to face before we can get our money. We're not done by a long shot. Inconceivable. How have you managed to make it this far? You truly are pests. Every time you think you've crushed them, they just come crawling back in! What was that? What was that, you bastard? I hope you're ready. We didn't appreciate that trap of yours. He's right. He didn't have any intention of letting us get past that maze in the first place. Ah, you are indeed correct. That is how things are supposed to be. You're not worthy of victory. Now, won't you just lie down and lose for me? This isn't an easy job, you know. Yeah. And this isn't an easy job either. We're not giving up, asshat. Aw, oh, is that so? Well then, seems I have no other choice. What, to beat us up in the form of a freaky snake man? Yeah, right, buddy. I'm about to show you that you are completely out of your widget. <laughs> we don't do a lot of damage right now, but just you wait. Eventually, what's shown as chip damage can add up. <laughs> oh, buddy, are you frozen? Here, let me help you out a bit. <laughs> Take him down, Yusuke! Hit him, Inari! Boom, baby! All out attack formation, folks! Let's take down the Snake King! <laughs> Alright, now that we're down to below half, we're gonna be dealing a lot of damage! <laughs> it's all about how you see it. Glass half full, glass half empty? How about... There's juice! <laughs> Who cares if the glass is half full or half empty? Just appreciate the fact that you have anything! So, considering the fact that this guy is using electric, or lightning, or what what is that freaking element known as? Whatever. He's weak to wing. But, or not. I thought he was. Huh? Oh, hell yeah, baby! End it! Yay! 
Yes! Pardon me. <laughs> Let's do okay. this. That is so freaking cool! I mean, oh my god, I can't express how cool that Showtime is! I mean, a drop kick from Noir, metal chair! Freaking Makoto Nijima with a metal chair! Hell yeah! <laughs> and then that elbow drop is insane! That must have been his plan from the very beginning. Considering how things were on the members' floor, it's no surprise this isn't a fair game either. And yet, we still reached our goal. Come now, let us go. We have no more business here. Hmm. We will have to go to another game if we want to win more coins. Joker, should we go back to the elevator? That we should, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go! <laughs> now that we're done with the House of Darkness, I, I think the will seat is somewhere in there. I'll have to do some looking around, but yeah. We're not ending this episode just yet. I'd like to show off the battle ring. <laughs> that makes it sound like it's some kind of like special mode. Nah, it's really not. You'll see what this place is. Oh boy, will you see what this place is. Ah, welcome. Will you be participating in our stunning battle arena? Okay. Of course! Our teamwork's gonna take down this arena of yours! Ah, now that won't do! This is a series of honest one-on-one -on -one battles! Don't tell me. Correct! You can only take one participant! You'll need to choose someone to act as your representative. The entry fee for this event is 10,000 coins. However, if you manage to succeed in the trials, you'll be granted 10 times that! A hundred thousand coins! Wait, what? That's enough to get us across the bridge! Come on, we need to do this! How about this? Hmm, this feels like a trap to me. An amount that high would surely ensure great danger. But failure to infiltrate this palace will be the end of us. So we don't get a choice. Very well, in that case, Joker should be the one to participate. We don't know what kind of enemies may appear, so his high level of adaptability will be vital here. Uh, if I have to... I'm glad you understand. I think I can at least provide backup from the sidelines. You won't be alone, Joker. Has your mind been made up? The battles will begin once you enter. Now then, shall you challenge the imposing battle arena? That I will do, host! Oh, in that case, please head onward into the ring. The entry fee and appropriate prize total shall be calculated at the end of the game. Now then, Prepare to know the true meaning of agony. <laughs> you will... Let me run that back. Only you will be able to continue from here onward. We'll be cheering from the stands, so best of luck. Oh boy. Let's frickin' enter the battle arena. You will not be able to retreat once you enter this room. Is that alright with you? Uh, actually, I want to prepare first, because I'm not at 100%. Now I'm at 100%. Let's freaking do this! Wish me luck, fellas and fellas... Ladies? I don't freaking know. <sighs> Here we are. All alone. But you know what? That's not going to change a damn thing. Okay, if you don't shut it, I'll beat you up too. Odds are 1.1 to the house, 23.0 to the Phantom Thieves. Wow, Phantom Thieves are surprisingly popular. It's rare to see odds in the double digits. Now, let us begin our serious one-on-one -on -one battle. Hurry up, the first contestant. Oh, uh, what the hell? There's two of them. This isn't one-on-one -on -one at all. They're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning. And what did you expect? Now then, it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin. Ready, set, go! So, just as the ring announcer said, 
This is a series of three battles, each of which are going to absolutely test my patience. Or they would if I didn't have Meggie Dola. <laughs> oh crap, they have... Oh no. I didn't realize they had Miracle Punch and that critical rate up. They're trying to get it so that they have one more. Oh boy, please. No, gosh dang it. Tempest Slash. That's no fair. No, who the hell am I kidding? None of this is freaking fair. That's why I'm not going fair either. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna kick your ass if you don't shut up. You know, that's a little hard to say. I'm just going to call him the Phantom Dweeb from now on. Uh, okay, it's better than being called stupid. All of you betting on the house, do not fret. The second round of contestants is arriving now! Yep. What? They're even more than before. I expected this, Inari. about to fall to what looks like a bunch of firecrackers. Let's boogie! <laughs> I've got something fun for the likes of you. Bless! <laughs> now that was easy. What else you got for me, huh? and you give me this bruiser? Yowza, that's a big one. Go, grind his bones to dust. Let the extreme third battle begin. Here we go. This is the real fight. Yep, the Thunder Emperor. I'm pulling out the all, all the stops. Almighty all the way. This guy is charging, but I'm not worried. Because with the power of Almighty... Are you kidding me? Nope. Nope. Okay. Thank you. That helps out, kind of, I think. Wait, does it help me out? I have literally no idea. <laughs> I'm scared. I... As much as I want to do that, I'm going to use freaking di Diaron, because I'd rather not die. Or I dodged it! Hell yeah, baby! You got nothing on me, Thunder Emperor! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so much damage! <laughs> Prepare to get done. I can't even sound cool! Prepare to get gunned down, you dumbass! Oh, we can't do all out attacks this time? Fine. Then I'll end you via my own gun. <laughs> that was easy. Bring it on, you frickin' dweeb! <laughs> what? Can't take the frickin' heat? Bring it out, sir? What you got? Once again, justice prevails. The, the, the payout will be handed over after this. Uh, please wait. <laughs> I think you should be saying, The once known Phantom Dweeb has come out on top and shut me up! <laughs> Congratulations, here's your reward 100,000 coins. Booyah! Oh, shit! That was freaking amazing, Joker! Hell yeah, baby! I know how to strut my stuff! You were incredible! They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. <laughs> Neither was I! I was gonna not use Mickey Dola! <laughs> yes, I expected that would be the case. 
Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? <laughs> what the hell, man? I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. We could have sent you in there. Then again, you might have gotten clobbered. Pencil nose. Come now. We should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. Mm, shine my ass. And no, I don't mean that literally. Shit. He sent me in there well knowing the danger of it all. How screwed up is that? He had no faith in me. None. Uh, the victory beam, the addle bangle, and the despair charm. Victory beam? Okay, give that to me right now. It doesn't even cut into the 100,000. I will figure out what the hell that thing does later. And by figure out what it does, I mean I will see how much damage it does later. For now, I think it's better if we do this. Authenticating members card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that. Now let us through. It seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. Oh, damn it. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. What? What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that! Let's see, if it's one million and one hundred thousand are given every time we enter the battle arena, that would be... I'd be risking my life! Fuck no! Oh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Hence, I will emerge victorious. <laughs> we had only just barely gotten a hundred thousand coins. She said she would let us through if we had one million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. Huh? You know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. Uh, pencil nose, say what? What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... We didn't hold that many. For example, had we borrowed the max when we had 10,000 coins, we would have ended up with 20,000. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. Unless... Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have... another card? Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Hey! Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly used it to gather coins and outsmart this system. You absolute pencil nose genius. 460,000 coins? That means we would have over 500,000 if we add all of our coins together. That's still only half. <laughs> so what? That's still clearly not close to the required total. Actually, it's halfway, so it's decently close. Actually, once my count reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second time. Huh? After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. <laughs> Wait, uh, if, if we borrow all them coins, is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Dude, you are an absolute genius, and I hate to admit it, but 
Man, I love you! Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? If possible, this can't be. But it is, Sai-san. We've beaten you. Whoa. It's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. Well, we are dealing with a uh, master detective on our hands. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves' efforts. Now, we should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. That's right. We gotta be quick with this. Bring that bridge down! Actually, not yet. Not yet. I think this is a good spot to end the episode. Next time on Persona 5 Royale, we lower the Bridge of Judgment and take a look at Sai-san's treasure. See you guys then.